Hi, in this tutorial, we'll go over making a complex vector object by tracing a sketch. I'll be tracing the bunny I'm sketching here in Photoshop, but you can also sketch something with paper and pencil, scan it, and bring it into Illustrator as an image file. This Illustrator tutorial will mostly cover the different functions of the pen tool, but we'll also go over other tools such as some of the shape tools, Pathfinder, Align, and the Live Paint Button tool. Open up Illustrator and import the image you sketched into a new document. If it's low resolution, you can use the selection tool, which is the black arrow on the toolbox, to select the image and drag a corner to make it bigger. Hold shift while resizing to constrain the proportions of the image. On the top when you select the image, you'll see a toggle for opacity. You want to drag this down so it's easier to trace. Then make sure to lock the layer by pressing the box next to the layer visibility so that we don't move it around by accident. Click and hold on the rectangle tool to switch to the ellipse tool. To make a perfect circle, click and drag outwards from the middle of your cursor while holding Alt and Shift. We'll give this circle a black stroke with a weight of three points and no fill. This will be the bunny's head. We can move it around with the selection tool by clicking it in the middle, dragging and dropping it. We can also adjust the shape by pulling the transform points that are around it. I'm going to continue adjusting the object until it fits exactly how I want it to on the head. Now copy this object with Command C and place it in the same place with Command Shift V. Use the selection tool while holding Shift and Alt to proportionately resize it slightly bigger than the circle we just made. Adjust it accordingly so it fits with the top curve of the hat. Now select the pen tool to draw the bottom brim of the hat. Click to create an anchor point where the bottom of the hat intersects with the circle curve we just made. Click the next point you want to extend the line to and drag to adjust the curve. Continue clicking to trace around the hat brim. You can click without dragging to create a straight line between points. To adjust the curves in your line, use the Convert Anchor Point tool under the Pen tool in the toolbox to adjust the control handles at each anchor point by clicking at the ends of the handles and dragging them to create the curve that you want. Since the tip of the brim is looking a little pointy, we can go to the stroke menu above and change the caps and corners of the line to rounded to make sure the line looks a little less jagged. You can also use the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, to reposition any individual anchor point. To have the anchor point snap perfectly to the point where it meets the bottom line of the cap, make sure that you turn on Smart Guides in the View drop-down menu up top. You can use the pen tool to trace the rest of your sketch underneath and also adjust the lines even after they've been drawn. Now we're going to get rid of some of the overlapping lines in this design. Select the outer circle and then select the Add Anchor Point tool under the pen tool and create two new points where the outer circle intersects with the hat. This will help us delete the part of the circle that isn't part of the hat. Click the canvas with the direct selection tool to deselect the object, then hover over the circle to select segments between paths that you want to delete. For example, if I want to get rid of this segment here, I click between these two anchor points and then delete. You can do this with remaining segments as well. If we look at these two points at the corner of the hat, they look kind of off. This is because they aren't connected. Highlight them with the direct selection tool, right click and select join. You can double click the inner circle to isolate the object and then use the add anchor point tool to delete the hidden part of the bunny's head just like we did with the leftover circle under the hat. To exit isolation mode, click outside the object onto the canvas. Next, we'll work on the cap logo on the side. Trace the logo with the ellipse tool. Remember to hold shift to make it a perfect circle. Then press alt to duplicate the object and drag it over to the side. Copy it and then press command shift V to paste it in place. Hold Shift and Alt to make it slightly smaller than the outside circle. I'm changing the line weight to two points so it doesn't get too crowded. Press Command Shift V again to paste and place the object that you just made and proportionately size it down even smaller. To slice the stone in half, draw a line with the line segment tool across the intersection of the circles, which Smart Guide should help you with. Select both the inner circles and the line by holding Shift while using the selection tool, then open up the Pathfinder through the window menu. In the Pathfinder menu, select the first icon to divide. This has separated the donut into two halves, and you can use the Direct Selection tool to delete the unnecessary lines. We can round the corners of this object in the Stroke menu above. Now, select everything by highlighting it with the Selection tool. 
Drag the logo that you've just created to the spot on the cap. Hover over one of the corner transform points until a rotate icon appears, then simply click and drag to rotate slightly. Now you can return to using the pen tool to trace the rest of your sketch. To create the more complex objects in this design, remember to utilize all the tools that I've covered, including the Add Anchor Point tool to delete unwanted line segments, the Convert Anchor Point tool to adjust curves, and the Pathfinder Divide option to dissect lines. You can use all these tools to create the fountain drink that the bunny is drinking. We can create the silhouette of the bunny's arm by drawing a path with the pen tool and increasing the stroke weight. Then, we can continue to adjust it until it's right, with the direct selection tool and the convert anchor point tool. To finish off the bunny's arm, go to the object menu, path, and then choose to outline stroke. Now you can finish tracing the rest of the bunny. Here are also some important things to remember while you're working. You can right-click two points at the end of the paths or paths and join them. You can round the caps and corners of your paths by clicking on the stroke menu while you have your path selected. The white arrow selects individual anchor points, while the black arrow selects entire paths or groups. You can press shift while transforming an object to constrain its proportions. While working, it's also good to consistently save your work. After you've finished tracing the entire bunny, you want to color it. Select everything, duplicate it, and drag it aside for safekeeping. Then, making sure that you have the entire bunny highlighted, select the Live Paint Bucket tool under the Shape Builder tool, and then click the Merge Live Paint button on top. Go ahead and say OK to all the boxes that pop up. Now, you can simply click and fill in colors on the bunny.